Hey everyone, before you get watching this video, I just wanted to let you know, um, I do have the LED function turned on to the Norton, so I'm not using any resistors um, when I do this install on either the front or the rear LEDs. Um, I still get a warning message when I put the blinkers on after the full install, saying that uh, the turn signals, there's some sort of hazard with them. So apparently the power supply is still a little messed up. That being said, everything works. Uh, the only downside being that if you want to know what gear you're in or have the, the screen functioning um, when your blinker is on, it doesn't show you. So um, again, not a big deal for me. Newer riders, that might that might matter. At some point, maybe I'll try and get resistors on both sets of, of lights, the front and the rear, see if that does anything. But at this point, everything's working and I'm okay with it. So um, just wanted to let you guys know. Enjoy the video. All right, so we're going to be uh, removing the rack to get access to under the seat. Um, really, you don't need to mess with these bolts up here. Uh, you just have to take out these four here. So um, we'll go ahead and do that. So by removing those bolts, um, this whole piece will be loose. Um, you also have the rack off, of course. And we also need to remove um, this under fender here. So uh, there's a series of bolts here, here, and then there's, let's see if I can get it, uh, four, one in each of these holes that you'll need to remove. They're all Torx bits. So after you remove those six uh, Torx bits, this back piece will come off, and then you've got access to feed the wires as well as loosen the lights. All right, so with everything loose, you can go ahead and pop off the seat. And then you can take off these side panels, the white ones here. Um, it'll make your job a little bit easier. I honestly, um, I've done this before, so I'm just going to pull that off like so. And then you've got all your connections right here along with this um, feed tube. Everything's wet because I just washed the bike because it was a muddy mess. So um, <laughs> you probably won't have this much water. If you're just doing your blinkers, um, you're just looking for this red and green one. Um, and then you can just unclip these, these connectors. There is a little, let's see if I can get it right there. You push this piece in um, and then it will slide out. I won't be able to do it while I'm holding the camera. So... Um, I'll be right back after I do that. All right, so we're going to do a loose test here. Um, I've got these just loosely connected. They're plugged in. I don't know if red is, uh, is left or green is right or what. That's kind of what I'm figuring, but we'll see. Um, so when I had the, when I had the, um, the LED function turned onto my bike, my blinker has stopped working completely. Um, so I, I wasn't getting any, any, uh, blink on the LEDs up front and nothing on the, the back. I would get a warning message on the, uh, the screen though, that there was something up. So, um, let's see what we got here with a loose connection. All right. So I got a steady light to the right and it looks like I don't have anything going on back here which is a little strange um but maybe it's a bad connection so let me fool with that real quick uh all right so i just actually switched the blinker to the left hand signal and we're getting blink and you can see the one up there is blinking as well so that's good uh there is a warning on the dash but there's something, there's something fishy with the the right hand turn signal. So just just so you guys know, left is is the red, green is right when you're wiring it back up. So I got to figure out what's going on here. Maybe these are, maybe these are miswired. 
All right, and we are blinking on the right too. So yeah, I had the connections um, reversed when I spliced into the, the factory harness. I put black to black and so now I'm just gonna mount them up, but you can see they are looking sweet. All right, so um, we're gonna remove the lights now. You're gonna need a, a 13 millimeter wrench. Um, I think it's easier if you just grab a 13 millimeter and adjustable, but you will need two. You can pop that off just like so, pull it out a little bit. And then, this is kind of a pain, but it's, let's see if I can do it for you guys. You can tell I'm using a little force here. <laughs> there. All right, so pop that off. Now, here's the thing. I had a problem with these loosening up on me uh, from the factory. They would be dangling after a ride. So I Loctited mine, and I have to do this to get them off. I already did the other one, um, but I need to get a wrench on this side. If you didn't Loctite it and never had that issue, you can just use our 13 millimeter wrench, hold the light from the other side and, uh, and screw it. So, um, but for me, that's what I have to do. So, all right, I'm going to undo these and be right back. All right. So once it's unscrewed, um, you'll have this piece, you'll get this little washer. That's got a flange save this cause you're going to use it to install the new lights. And then there's this nut that just got one back on there. You can toss that. Um, again, if you want to, you can cut these off and use them like I did, um, or you can buy some from custom LED that are ready to go. But if you're not going to reuse these lights, you might as well just cut them off the old stock ones and splice them on if that's what you want to do. Um, so, all right, I'll show you how to put the, uh, the new lights in. All right, so before you do anything, uh, you are going to need to cut this. So... These little, uh, these little snips here are great for zip ties and, and this sort of thing, precision cuts, um, where you don't want to cut the wire. So I'm going to make two slits in here, and then I'm just going to peel it back about, I don't know, inch and a half or so. Leave as much of it as you can, then I'll just cut this off flush. Um, to expose the wires here. All right, and the reason we're doing this is because you need to feed these through a small nut. And to do that, um, you're gonna have to do it one at a time. So this gives you a little more room to, to slide them in, just like that. Probably easier than showing you on the bike. So light washer into the bike then thread on the the other washer on the other side, the nut, and don't forget the uh, the waterproof gasket. So I'm gonna do that here, show you the result. So instead of leaving the wires like a mess and just cramming them in here like you see on a lot of people's motorcycles, do yourself a favor, um, you spend time doing it, just zip time together, neaten it up a little bit. And uh, that way everything stays nice and clean. So, again, great tool here. Um, this this guy just, you can see how flush that clips it off. So, um, highly recommend it. But, yeah, clean it up. And then the only other thing to note is under here. Uh, let's see. There we go. Make sure that you get your your lights into these grooves. That way when you put the plate that's underneath here back on, you don't pinch anything. But after that, you're All done. All right, and there's the uh, final product with these rhizomas. Oh.